Hi everyone, this is Val from Barloo Craft Studio. Sorry, my camera is deciding it's just going to suddenly start dropping down. I've tightened it up as far as it will go and it just releases and slowly drops down. Anyway, this is another one I want to show you right now. It's not the Christmas in Wonderland, but it is a vintage Christmas one that I also have as one of my print and post kits. So I'm going to show you this one as well. And now this one's the same as the others in that it has 12 printed pages pages which turns into two printed images when you fold it in half. Again you trim around the outside and decide if you wanted to have the pages tea dyed you would just either very lightly spray the back or as I said I use a cloth and just wipe across with tea you know just dip it in the tea and wipe it across without getting it too wet and that works really well for me so hopefully it will for you too. So these are the pages in Vintage Christmas. few lines on this one, the others were plain. This is one of my favourite images, you'll start to see it really is because I've got, I've used that one a couple of times. I think they're beautiful young children, very vintage. There's a few Christmas Christmas trees and Father, Father Christmas is in this but it's mostly vintage children, a few angels. Now these ones, there's actually three like this and um, a lot, I made these some time ago and I made them as a collage. They look really good in the centre, like folded that way, so that in, when you get to the centre of the of the signature, that's what you have in the middle. That's how I've used them. Oh, they probably look all right elsewhere in a journal, but you might chop the images off. If people don't like this, I could find something to substitute instead. So if you want this kit, but you don't like these collage pages, just let me know and I'll see if I can round you up something else. I'm sure there's some others of different varieties because I usually make about... 35 pages and then end up using 12. Anyway, so I think they're really pretty, but they are a collage effect. And then the same in this one, you get a set of the triangle pockets with the with the circles. Now on this one, it could go up to the peak and just have white at the top, or you could cut it off there. That's There's actually white on the image, so it comes out like as though there's nothing there. So you could either cut the shape, as I say, or you could just chop it off there. And then of course you get the, the uh, fold folders which can be a pocket or they can be a tuck in the pocket, an insert. Then there's uh, quite a few pages of tags with uh, tickets and things down the bottom to fill the pages up. And a couple of little Christmas postcards and a few images down the side. More cards and a couple of mason jars with gorgeous little Christmas images in there. I think they're pretty. And uh, this one then is um, some music, Christmas music papers with images on them and a bingo ticket there. So, and then again, you get the two images, two pages of dictionary, and there you see there they are again. Um, the dictionary paper that's got the tea staining already printed on the back, um, and there's two of those as well. So, all of them are the same. They're on just copy paper. These ones are all on. 200 GSM and all of these ones are on 120 GSM. So it's good quality paper and of course to get a set of these they're all the same cost. Every every kit costs $13 for all of those pages and it's $6.15 for postage to put them into one of these. Now as I've said this can fit two kits so if you wanted to buy two kits you only have to pay for two but you pay for one lot of postage. I hope that makes sense, but please let me know if you need any clarification. I will put the pricing and the details um, on my Facebook page, and I will put the link to my page down below in, in the comments in this video. Thank you so much for looking. Bye.